hello guys so welcome back to my channel how is everyone doing guys you're highly highly welcome if you are new to this channel please make yourself part of this channel by clicking the subscribe button and if you've been there watching my videos i really appreciate you are highly welcome to linda michaels tv today we'll be doing a coconut moisturizing leave-in conditioner this coconut conditioner is real natural and is very healthy good for your hair so let's dive into the video and see how you can make one at home The main ingredient in this recipe is coconut milk. This is my homemade coconut milk. I made it in my previous video. You can see it to see how it was made. Now I put this coconut milk in the fridge and allowed it to stay overnight. It got separated naturally. The water goes to the damp part of the bowl while the milk solidifies on top. And this is the milk I will be taking to make this living conditioner. The next super ingredient we have in this recipe is aloe vera gel. I always use this aloe vera gel in all my hair conditioning products because they are very good and nice for the hair. I cut the quantity I need there and put the rest in the fridge. Then I blended them through to get the gel. I just added a little bit of water to help the blending. I saved it through to catch the chaff so they don't get into the mixture. This is beeswax, it's the emulsifying wax we're gonna be using to put everything together, the water and the oils together. And I chopped it into pieces to make it easier for melting. I melted it in a double boiling method, putting water in a pot and melting the beeswax. Here are the ingredients I'm going to be mixing together. That's coconut milk, that's shea butter I have here, and aloe vera gel. These are my three main super ingredients, coconut milk, shea butter, and aloe vera gel. And this is my beeswax already melted. I'll pour everything into the pot, into the mixing bowl, and mix all together. One challenge in using beeswax is it easily solidifies. Whenever it comes in contact with stuff in room temperature, its temperature goes so down that it gets sticky and solidify. So as I'm whipping it, I'm also scraping the floor of the pan because it's sticking down the floor. Adding two spoons of extra virgin olive oil. I whip in between to make the mixture stay in the perfect texture. I added three tablespoons of castor oil. Three capsules of omega-3 fish oil. 
Omega-3 fish oil provides essential proteins and nutrients for the hair follicles. It prevents follicle inflammation and it acts directly to prevent hair loss. It promotes circulation in the scalp and triggers hair growth. I added 5 capsules of biotin. Biotin is very good for the hair if you are experiencing hair loss or hair thinning. Biotin will assist in hair regrowth and biotin, when you incorporate it in your routine, biotin will help improve your overall hair quality, including thickness and shine. I gave it a thorough whipping to mix all the ingredients together and to avoid lumps in the mixture. To help the shelf life of this hair cream, I added 2 teaspoons of citric acid to help it last longer. After a prolonged whipping, I came out with this yummy looking hair conditioner. This is good for your hair guys. This coconut moisturizing leave-in conditioner is very very good. So moisturizing, so good for your hair. Hair. Now I put it in the piping bag and introduced it into the bottled containers. It's very much advisable to use airtight containers. It will help seal it up to avoid forming of molds or decaying of the product. Yeah, the product is ready to be used, it's done, it's perfect, good and healthy for your hair. Okay, now guys, having made the cream, I've been using it for my family and it's almost gone as you can see. So, I, the kids, everyone is using it. Now I'm gonna show you how I use them. I am here with... Awesome. Okay, can you good guys? Hi guys, I'm uh, awesome. Good. So I'm gonna use this cream on her. I just washed her hair. I washed it and I'm gonna moisturize the hair with the cream. So just watch and see how I do it bit by bit. Let's share you a little how and how well the hair is growing in order. So I'm putting in my piece spray. I'm still gonna show how I make that. It goes hair like sweet. Guys, I'm just so happy. My baby is very happy featuring in my video. <laughs> So guys, that's how to work on the hair, combing out a little part of it, putting in the product, massaging it in and brushing it out. Then after, to keep the hair straightened, I put it back into twist. And I will do this round until the whole hair is done. Yeah. Yeah, also is trying to let you see the length of her growth. Yeah, her hair has grown a lot over these uh, months. And since we've been using all these natural products, homemade products, 
my baby's hair are all doing great yeah you can see the length yeah so um the more you use all these natural products the more you see more length and they're economical if you, if you have to calculate So guys, this is how I'll do all hair bit by bit. So I finish moisturizing all the hair and later I will do the styling because this video will be too long if I get into that. Please, if you're not subscribed to this channel, try and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't be lost in any of our videos, okay? See you guys and bye!